Hi, this is Tim Just, the 8020 TD. Let's look at the TD affiliate area, part two. I'm at the uschess.org site. I'm going to scroll down until I get to clubs and tourneys. And I'm going to select the TD affiliate support area. You want to learn more about this area? Click here. You'll also notice down below there's a FAQ and if you lost your password or login ID, etc., that's down here. Check out this material because there's a lot of good stuff here that affects you and your affiliate. You can even get the USCF to email flyers for you. But that's not what we're here to do. Let's log in as an affiliate to see what we can do and what's going to help us, what tools are available. You might remember in part one, we signed up as our login name and let's put in the password that you got via email or the one that you changed. The first time you do this, you'll get a message in this area that tells you to change your password. The password USCF gave you is a nice password. I suppose you can keep it. It's not the safest one to have change it. I would suggest strongly that you change it right away. Once you change it and log back in, you have several things that you can do here that are really exciting. You'll notice I already have some TDs authorized to run tournaments using this affiliate. Let's go look at that. If I scroll on down, you'll see that I can do several things. One of the things I can do is display outstanding vouchers. This is great. You can pay for TLAs this way online. But if I scroll up, some TDs release the reports that you have to repay for, that you have to pay for. This is where you would click. But what we really want to do is update our list of authorized TDs. I'm going to click on it, and these are the TDs that you approve using your affiliate ship. Down below, in the left-hand column, is all that you really need to be concerned about. You'll see that I already have some TDs signed up that I'm allowing to use this affiliate for. I'm going to add one right now. It's very simple. Just get their ID number and enter it. I'm going to update the TD list. If I scroll down, you'll see that this fellow is now an approved TD for this affiliate. All right, I want to return to the TD affiliate menu. Other things you can do here is get custom rating list, cross tables for your event. You can check on some submitted events when they were rated. Something really important that we looked at in other videos, downloading rating supplements. If you're looking for TDs, Here's a good spot to check. List TDs by geographical area. You might need a TD of a certain certification level. Another good spot to check. If you're concerned about ratings, another good spot to check. Sometime, you ought to just sit and play with create a PDF file with board number signs. This is a just fabulous tool to give you board numbers at your events. Over here, we can change my password, and we can change the email address in case, uh, well, we know how quickly we change those. Maybe I don't want my Yahoo email, email address anymore, or maybe I want to use my 8020TD email address. And there's a lot of things that you don't know how to do here. I would suggest reading the FAQs. Please read them. You're going to be surprised at the number of tools that are going to be able to help you out. Let me change my password here.
There's my current password, we hope. Let's enter my new password. No, oh, that can't be my current password. It's just a little short. There's my current password. Now I'm going to enter a new one. Gonna verify it. Don't give your password to anybody, even your TDs. Please. Read this material. Agree to it. Update your password. And my password got changed. Enjoy using this area. We might come back to this later when we have a specific skill to show you that's going to be a tool that's going to increase your performance as an affiliate. Goodbye for now.